Do you love setting up new aquariums? Choosing which kind of fish to put in small aquariums like a 10-gallon tank can be tricky. That's precisely why I've decided to make this video to take some of the hard work out of the decision-making process for you. Creating a fantastic nano freshwater aquarium takes plenty of research, but don't worry, you've come to the right place. And here, you will get all the answers to these sorts of problems while creating an awesome-looking 10-gallon aquarium. You're probably also wondering how many fish you can keep in a 10-gallon tank, so watch the entire video for advice on the number of fish you can stock in an aquarium. I recommend that you not skip any part of the video because each point is essential for your fish health. So today, in this video, we are going to learn about the best 15 fish you can put in your aquarium, but before going to our list, you need to know more about stocking 10-gallon aquariums. When stocking a 10-gallon aquarium, the first thing to know is that smaller doesn't necessarily mean easier. The smaller the aquarium is, the less stable the water conditions will be. There is just something so special about a nano-aquarium. However, that makes the challenge. For me, there are three keys to success when keeping a 10-gallon fish tank. The first tip that comes to my mind is choosing the right fish. Then second is providing good quality filtration. And third is keeping up with regular maintenance. If you need to know more about these factors or want me to explain these points in detail, then comment below. I will make the next video on these factors to give you guys more experience with how to manage a 10-gallon fish tank. So, without ado, let's dive into the list of best fish for a 10-gallon tank. On number one there is betta fish. The betta fish is surely the most popular nano fish for freshwater tanks of all time. These aggressive little fish are also known as Siamese fighting fish because males will fight to the death if kept together in a small aquarium. This means only a single male betta fish should be kept in a 10-gallon species-only tank. Don't worry though, the tank won't feel too empty because these fish have plenty of personality. Betta fish come in a huge range of colors and shapes, so there's a type of betta out there to suit just about anyone. They do need warmer temperature than most fish. So betta fish is the best option if you want a 10-gallon tank at your home. On number 2 there is guppies. One of the best fish for 10-gallon fish tanks. Guppies are another one of the most popular fish in the aquarium hobby. These colorful, peaceful fish come in an amazing variety of colors and breeds known as fancy guppies. The fancy guppy is a hardy fish that does great in both community tanks and species-only tanks. They are live bearers, so if you would prefer not to breed them, make sure you don't keep males and females in the same tank. Female fish may already be pregnant when you buy them so males tend to be the better bet. The males are also smaller, more colorful, and have longer fins. So if you are looking for these types of attractive fish, then guppies are the best option for your 10-gallon tank. On number 3. I would like to recommend to you, Japanese rice fish. One of the best fish that everyone wants to be in their fish tank. Japanese rice fish are an often overlooked, but extremely interesting and playful little fish. They have been raised for centuries in Asia due to their natural habitat being on rice paddies across the continent. These curious creatures also go by many names including Madaka or Japanese killifish because they can be found naturally around these areas as well. Ricefish are a peaceful species that should be housed in the aquarium with other tranquil fish and larger invertebrates. Ricefish do best when kept at numbers of six or more, as they show their finest coloration and behavior when around others for companionship. They have the potential to jump out of a tank so you will want to cover your aquarium with an appropriate hood or glass lid. And if you want to know more about rice fish then you can find the link in the description to get more information about rice fish. On number 4. You can buy Endler's Live Bear. One of the best fish with attractive looks. Endler's Live Bearers are the nano cousin of the common guppy. Like guppies and mollies, these fish breed very easily in the home aquarium. You can prevent breeding by keeping only specimens of a single sex. Males are smaller and more colorful than females, just like guppies. These colorful little fish are very easy to care for and great fun to watch as they forage all over the tank. This is one nano fish that I would recommend to any beginner.
Now let's move to our fifth recommendation, which is Chili Raspora. The Chili Raspora is a tiny fish that does great in a 10-gallon aquarium. They can be kept on their own or with other community fish and in verts. These bright orange fish captivate aquarists with interesting black markings on their sides and fins. Chili Rasporas are schooling fish, and you can keep as many as 20 of them in a planted 10-gallon tank with great filtration. So my recommendation is to add Chili Rasporas with other fishes to make your aquarium more attractive. Now let's know about white cloud minnow, which is our sixth recommendation for you. White cloud minnows are beautiful and graceful schooling fish that are a great choice for a 10-gallon aquarium. They are not tropical fish like the other species in this list and are suitable for cool water tanks. For example, white cloud minnows are available in some amazing varieties with gold body color or long flowing fins. So I recommend you to put gold one for your tank if you like other body color, you can go with that also, but gold attracts the most. Now let's move to 7th position, and Celestial Pearl Danio captures 7th position of our list. The Celestial Pearl Danio is beautiful nano fish that is a wonderful choice for a 10-gallon aquarium. These small fish are most happy in a heavily planted tank. They can be kept with other peaceful fish but they can be outcompeted by faster, more aggressive feeders and bigger fish. Celestial Pearl Danios are shoaling fish, so be sure to pick up a group of at least six individuals. Now let's move to eighth position and Neon Tetra captures eighth position of our list. The Neon Tetra is a classic nano fish that will add amazing color to your 10 gallon tank. This is about the smallest tank size that Neon Tetras will thrive in, but with great filtration, you can easily keep a group of 6 to 8. These popular tropical fish are easy to find at just about any pet store and are very easy to care for. And if you want to buy them online and get your delivery at home, then check the link in the description and get some discount to buy Neon Tetras. Now let's move to ninth position of our list, and at position 9, Female bettas can be the best option for 10-gallon tank. Female betta fish are often overlooked in the aquarium hobby because they don't have as much color and fancy finage as the males. The truth is that the females still have great color and personality. They are not as aggressive as the males, which makes them a better option for community tanks. A small group of female betta fish is known as a sorority. Experienced aquarists can keep a sorority in a 10-gallon tank but a single female betta is usually the perfect fish for a tank of this size. Now let's move to our 10th position of our list, which is captured by Zebra Danio. Zebra Danios are very adaptable and hardy fish that can be housed in a 10-gallon aquarium. These active fish are great fun to watch as they zoom around the tank at high speed. Zebra Danios are not always schooling fish, but a group of at least five or six danios should be kept in the same tank. These fish need plenty of swimming space, so make sure you leave a lot of space available. These are the top 10 fish you can stock in the 10-gallon tanks, and if you want to learn about five more fishes that you can stock in your 10-gallon tanks, click on the first link in the description to our official blog post where we described everything you should know about these fishes before purchasing them. I strongly advise you to learn more about these fishes on our blog, where you can learn about the best ways to stock and build 10-gallon aquarium tanks at home. And if you like this video and want me to create these sorts of videos for you then, please leave a comment and share this video with your friends so that they should know more about 10-gallon aquarium fishes and how to stock them perfectly. Make sure to subscribe Aquarium Store Depot channel where we help you with these sorts of questions related about fish, aquariums, and our objective is to make the aquarium hobby more accessible to beginners so that they can thrive. Thanks for watching this video, and if you want to know the best partners for Axolotl in a tank, watch this video on the right of the screen. This will help you understand what mates you can stock with Axolotl in the same tank.